I want to talk a little bit about uh, some of the physical challenges I go uh, that I have to face day to day. And I think the first physical challenge is walking for me. I wear an artificial leg and I also wear a leg brace. So my artificial leg basically provides a, a, a foot on my uh, my left leg. I was born without a foot, basically have the entire heel there and it can move, but I just don't have the foot part. And the prosthetic leg basically goes from my knee down to my ankle. So um, if you're familiar with prosthetics and amputation, I'm what they call a Symes amputee, but I am not, wasn't I didn't have that amputation at all. It was just, it happened at birth. I also wear an AFO, um, which basically is a, a leg brace. It's a plastic leg brace that wraps around um, just below my knee, and it goes down to my ankle, and then under, the, uh, under my foot. And it has a, some straps around there that provide some basic level of support for my ankle. I had a, um, they call it a club foot. So when I was born, my foot was uh, kind of turned in and up a little bit on my leg. Um, and what, what had to happen was doctors had to go in and, and correct that. And in doing so, they fused my ankle. So I have no movement in my ankle. So that brace provides uh, support uh, so my ankle uh, doesn't uh, get hurt over time. Next area I want to talk about um, that I face is my hands. So uh, I believe my hands are kind of one of the most visible parts uh, um, that everybody sees on a day-to-day -day basis. So I can wear pants and I can get by. No one notices my legs, but my hands are something that I cannot hide. And <clears throat> for the most part, I, I, I do, and I, this is me saying this, I do fairly well. Um, I, I, I can't flick people off. I, it's a real bummer, but I get, who cares? I don't need to flick people off. <laughs> but, um, and I can't snap my fingers, but that's not really important to me. What's important is to be able to do day-to-day -day tasks that my peers can do. So I can type on the keyboard, I can write, I can use a mouse, I can drive a car, I can fly a plane, I can shoot a gun. Um, let's see, I can ride, if I, I can ride a bike. Um, I do ride a recumbent bike and that's just because I enjoy that type of bike, but I can ride a two wheel bike and balance just fine. Um, I can do just about anything and any type of profession. Now I don't don't think I'd be a good doctor. <laughs> uh, they don't make gloves that fit my hands. So I'm kind of um, out of that field, but I'm not interested in medicine at all. So my main profession is um, designing commercial uh, computer software. So I build uh, uh, backing applications and mobile apps. So when you interact with a website or interact with a mobile app, that has some type of uh, server that you're connecting to. I write the code that makes that website load, and I also write the code that makes that functionality in the mobile app work. So um, it is a uh, kind of a, an intensive uh, uh, tasks that you have to do a lot of work with your hands. I do use some dictation software from time to time to write Word documents, emails, uh, Skype messages, so on and so forth, but that's usually when my hand hurts. So I've had some surgeries on my hand and those surgeries have allowed me to um, uh, have more area to grasp things. And um, I, I will show my hand here, my right, this is my right hand. So <clears throat> you can see here, um, and I'll see if I can get it to focus. I have what they call amniotic band syndrome. So you can see here, I have like, uh, like a little ball on the tip of this finger here. And <clears throat> see if I can get it to focus. There you go. 
<clears throat> so this ball on the tip of my finger here has a little um, kind of area under it where an amniotic band um, arrested when I was in the womb. And <clears throat> um, I over here I used to have a, a bone um, that or a metacarpal uh, that uh, was present in this area. And um, in order for me to be able to write and grasp things, <clears throat> they had to go, the doctors had to go in and um, remove that bone. So I can you now take an item and grasp it with my hand, and I can hold on to it, and it, it fits just perfectly in that. So you can see here, it's my hand holds a pencil or a pen perfectly and I can write and that's how I, I hold a pencil or a pen. <clears throat> so another thing that they had to do um, was to lengthen the digits. So what they essentially did is they came in and they uh, took this bone right here in my hand and they broke it in half. They took it out of my hand, broke it in half, and they put pins in it and an apparatus on top that would allow uh, every day, allow for us to uh, twist this little screw. And over time, the pins would expand the, uh, the distance between the broken bone and basically the bone would regenerate in the broken area and it would in turn lengthen my hand or my my uh, my finger digit. <clears throat> Same thing on my left hand. They did this on uh, what is my thumb and what is my pinky or whatever we want to call this. Uh, I am right-handed. Um, my left hand is interesting and in, in the fact that um, I had more movement in, in closing, um, kind of on a on a horizontal plane, whereas my right hand I have a lot more grasping area, and I can grip things a little bit better. So I can't really move my my thumb down here too much and grasp a big object, but I can see. Like here's a, uh, a Coat Zero can, so I can hold it. I typically hold a Coat Zero can by the top. Um, can't really grasp it on the side here. Uh, sometimes I'm able to, but uh, it is a little hard on my left hand. So um, opening, open, opening these cans is a two two-handed task. Typically, what I will do is I will push the uh, <clears throat> the uh, middle of the tab, if we take the middle of the tab and we push it in with our finger, it kind of pops up the, uh, the end of the tab up a little bit and I'm able to put my finger under there and uh, open it up. <clears throat> so I hope that gives you a little understanding of kind of day to day uh, what I have to do uh, from a basic task level and uh, later on we'll maybe go into a little bit more examples of, uh, of different things. I truly appreciate your time and if you enjoyed this and would like to hear more from me, I'd appreciate a like and a subscription uh, and I promise to put out more content um, uh, later on. <laughs>